Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tide is the fourth installment in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise and starred Johnny Depp, Ian McKellen, uh, Dorothy Rush, uh, Pinnacle Cruz, and right now, this is kind of the worst of the series. I mean, to think about it, this movie is meh to me. There's a lot of good things in it and there's a lot of bad things, so let's go over to the good stuff. For one, Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. Johnny Depp, Jack Sparrow. Perfect. I love him. Um, Ian McKellen as the Blackbeard. He was great. He was a good villain. He was menacing. He does have some funny moments. And overall, I think he is a really fleshed out character. And Dorothy Rush as uh, Barbosa. He was also great. Pinnacle Cruz was good. She did not become the standout character. She didn't have she does have a backstory with Jack Sparrow, but overall she was sidelined and I didn't really care that much about her character, but overall I think she was an alright character to enjoy. And the crew isn't as memorable. It didn't I remember all the crewmates in the last movie, but the crew here is not as memorable because they didn't have the same thing right to me as the previous crew members. And this is where my first negative. I'm sorry, there's just a lot of stuff in here that I do not like about this film. Um, and the story, wow, it, it just really convoluted. There's Jack Sparrow going to this certain place to another, and the story just convoluted where Jack Sparrow is being captured, Dory Barbosa is part of the British, the British are after Jack Sparrow. It's just a camaraderie of different stories mashed into one, and it did not mesh as well as I hoped it would. The action, I would admit, is great and the special effects were awesome. I mean, they're probably the best in the action sequence in the ship, Blackbeard ship, was probably the most memorable part in the movie. And, yeah, the action is great. It still has that sense of adventure. But the cinematography is a bit off. It looks great sometimes, but it sometimes feels like the movie is a bit fake. Like there's a lot of green screen stuff and some lighting issues that just did not mesh well with the tone. And my biggest issue with the movie is the tone. It did not really mesh well. It wants to be dark and it wants to be light. The Pirates of the Caribbean always, is always dark and light. And it always meshes that really well. But in this movie, I it did not work for some reason. If it stuck to one tone, I feel like this movie could have been better. And I feel like that difference will be a good change for the franchise. Just in my opinion. Overall, this movie is disappointing to say the least. Jack Barrow and the main characters, all the main characters were great. The action set pieces were great. The story is a bit more fleshed out. The adventure is still there. The special effects were awesome. Some cinematography were was great. Some of the cinematography not though. But overall, I expected a lot more from this movie. It is also not the most memorable of the series. And I'm going to give Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides a C. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment. Deadman Tell No Tale is on the horizon. I cannot wait. And I will see you guys next time.